With the power of Davy Jones and Jack Sparrow, this tall tale will win you hourglass matches in Sea of Thieves. But how? So this is Lords of the Sea, a tall tale centered around the Davy Jones cloud in the sky and a multitude of events that culminate around the coral spire that rises beneath it, most of which can lend you a hand in your hourglass battles, if you know what you're doing. Because not only are the seas filled with an endless ghost fleet, but you can also summon giant mermaid statues from the ocean that radiate a red sea around them. And if that wasn't enough, then you can use the power of Davy Jones himself and completely grief your opponents with... Oi. Just be aware that it can affect you too. Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh my god. Oh, no, 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 Yes, yes. Everyone all right. But that's not all. During this tall tale, the united fleet of the Lords of the Sea can lend you a hand and completely body block shots from your opponent. They can't touch us. Oh, no. However, if your opponent's smart, they can sink Davy Jones and progress the tall tale to its final moment. But doing that will grant you access to the power of the Black Pearl. But we'll get into that later in today's very special Tales of Getting Booty. Subscribe. So the first layer of this tall tale is in essence a watered down ghost fleet. But aside from the infinite supplies you can get, that's not what we're here for. After you sink a couple of waves of these ghost ships, Davy Jones will summon a bunch of ginormous mermaid statues. And these things all radiate an area of red sea around them. Coupled with the ghost fleet circling the spire, we figured this was one of the most effective ways of dealing with players in the hourglass that want to get on your ship and spawn camp you. Mainly because by leaving their ship unattended, Ended, not only will the ghost fleet attack them, but the Red Sea caused by the mermaid statues means they won't be able to leave their ship unattended for very long. And well, it was way more effective than we anticipated. Now, I was in a crew with fellow content creator Fawina and my good friend Seeraw, and we were putting the Davy Jones hourglass meta through rigorous testing. But aside from the atrocious invasion waiting times, we couldn't predict just how good this was going to be. We were currently testing the mermaid statue segment of the tool tale when we were invaded by... It's a cheetah, it's a cheetah. Oh, oh we're gonna get oh, 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 Watch out. Yeah, oh, I, I saw him for a moment. <laughs> it's gonna be like this. Yeah, these were the most obvious cheetahs cheaters you could ever run into. But as long as we could stop Jack Sparrow from griefing us, you gotta stop Jack, please. We'd be fine. Please, Jack, please. Ah, oh, no, no, I saw them flying, I saw them flying. Watch out, we're about to get kicked. Okay. There's one in the crow's nest too. Yep. Right. There he is. I'm snipe. Yep, I hit the kegs. Yep. These cheaters were speed hacking and teleporting to bring kegs onto our ship. But remember what I said the last time I made a video about cheaters in this game? They all seemingly have zero game sense, and they really weren't prepared to be dealing with the power of this tool tale. You see, the only thing they could think to do was teleport to a nearby fortress, collect a keg, and then teleport back to our ship with it, using their silly little hacks. However, this really wasn't effective, especially as they kept dying in the explosion. And having caught one that had teleported into the crow's nest, we began our counterattack and pressured them to the point where they had been forced into one of the Red Sea areas caused by the mermaid statues. These might be the worst cheaters I've ever seen in this entire game. They're so bad, holy f But they had actually figured out that those areas weren't exactly safe to be in. And while they were maneuvering their ship, but wow. That's all we have to do. Yeah. Get fast. Oh, the mass didn't fall. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Yeah, these kegs weren't too bad. Considering that this tool tail is always situated at the edges of the map, it means that the cadence of kegs that they could use was slow. It was almost nothing to worry about. All we had to do was tank the explosions enough and wait for them to slip up. And, well, it really wasn't going to take long for that to happen. Oh, he's in the crows again. Is he? Okay. They're going out, they're going out of the map. They're about oh. to win. My afterlife shall be no way. Different. I think so. Look at the map. No, they're, they're probably just turning out, right? No, 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 no. Look at this. They're so far. Yeah, you're right, you're right. There's no oh, way. Oh, they're turning back in now. Yeah, we won. <laughs> Yo. That's so bad. Yo, <laughs> you're such a disaster for human beings. Oh, I feel so bad for you, Hacks, and you couldn't win. Actual Embarrassing. Magic. Embarrassing. <laughs> No way. <laughs> Killed him. <laughs> oh, he's oh, no, gonna try and keg us anywhere. 
So, as effective as the mermaid statues had been, we had discovered something that was a little underwhelming. They only do minor damage, and it's really not comparable to that of the real Red Sea. This is still a great way to deal with spawn camping TDM crews, but we can take this even further, beyond. Davy Jones has so much more to offer us. You see, once you clear the mermaid statues and scale the coral spire to meet the not-so-good businessman, Davy Jones will board the Flying Dutchman, and the final phase of the tool tale will begin. This climactic, cinematic battle has the united forces of Wild Rose, the crew of the Morning Star, Pendragon, and Jack Sparrow all fighting against Davy Jones. And things get really interesting when you pop the hourglass here. Davy Jones' Flying Dutchman will send the craziest barrages of cannonballs at enemy ships, and he'll even go super long range with it. Oh, yeah, the Dutchman's shooting them, isn't it? Yo! <laughs> yeah, look, look, look. But that's just the tip. Davy Jones also has the power to flip your ship. Oh, oh my god. Oh, no, 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 Yes, oh. yes. <laughs> <laughs> and this can do crazy things to ships in the heat of battle. I hit him. <gasps> oh! No, I fell off. I fell off. They are hurting kind of bad, I think. <gasps> <laughs> But that's not all. You see, these ghost ships are all allied with you, which means if you come inside them, then unlike regular ghost ships, you won't take any damage, leading to the most ridiculous strategy we had ever come up with. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> But the strongest strategy we found was to hug Davy Jones's Flying Dutchman. This would cause two things to happen. First, by being so close to his ship, it would force the Flying Dutchman to fire its cannonball barrages at the enemy crew. And he'll fire from ridiculous range too. And secondly, by doing this, we're forcing the enemy crew to approach not only us, but Davy Jones's ship too, allowing us to take advantage of his sea-quaking anchor drop in both offensive and defensive strategies. You see, See, we had been fighting an extremely good brigantine crew, and they realized they would have to come to us or suffer the cannon volleys from the Flying Dutchman along with our own ship. But as they nosed our broadside, we were slightly off angle, which caused their ship to cross the back of us, granting us left side shots and... Yeah, jump through the water. Blast him, blast him. You, you got. Yep. I was sniped. That's him, yeah, 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 two in the water, two in the water. Yep, yep, yep. Two in the water? Okay. I'm going Regan Ball here. Two in it, go chains. Okay. Uh. Okay. I don't have chains on me. Oh, uh, we, okay. Too much stay, too much stay. Yep, yeah, I'm raising. We needed that. Oh. Raising. Oh. Hey, Jim Jones, you pushed us. <laughs> okay, both my style. Nice, nice, nice. I'm gonna d cast on them, these guys. No way, David Jones pushed us into an angle again. <laughs> David Jones go in. Now, we had this ship pretty much pinned in a death circle, but well, I guess Davy Jones wanted a piece of the action too, because as we circled, the Flying Dutchman sailed directly into the enemy ship. Come on, this Dutchman. Evil. Get their asses. And well, it works exactly like a regular ghost ship would. By passing through a ship, the Flying Dutchman will cause damage to the hull. So, we had this crew on the ropes, and I guess this crew decided it was time to cheat. Insta-ladder, insta, -ladder, insta -ladder. Yeah. I mean, insta-ladder, come on. Anyway, we had already sunk a bunch of cheaters before, so we weren't about to let these ones go free. Watch out, harpoon, harpoon. Morning now. I died. I was moving. I'm here. See, this is the power of the Davy Jones hourglass meta. By going into a fight where you're the one in control of the PvE elements in a way your opponent doesn't really understand, you can tip the scales in your favor. While the enemy crew likely has no idea how this tool tale even works, PvP crews don't do PvE. For example, we'd been skirmishing with another brigantine in hourglass. They had initially wanted to sit out of the event and wait for us because they thought we were abusing the hourglass system. But after telling uh, them, we're yeah. the no, we're going to stay in Davy Jones the entire time. It's too fun. We waited inside the Black Pearl until they rejoined the fight. Now, this crew was actually mad. They'd even joined my chat over on twitch.tv slash Sinclair to tell me I was abusing the hourglass and that it was an exploit. Come on. They were putting up a tremendous fight despite their complaints. Oh, I both Farina, so yeah, we know. Yeah, no. Busted. I've got, I've got friends. Friends uh, water, 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 water. Yep, 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 yep. Bucket, 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 bucket. 
Wait, I need buckets. I need buckets. Yep. Ooh. Um, and having broke away from a near sink, we decided to hug Davy Jones again. And well, we are kind of nosing them a bit, though. It's fine. They're about to get briefed. <laughs> He's trying to shoot over Davy. Yeah, yeah. We are also about to get briefed, by the way. Yeah, they're gonna get extra griefed here. Imagine it flips them though. Holy! Oh, I'm one ball. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Oh, oh my God. It's okay. It's okay. We didn't. Uh, we didn't flip. We're still on anger. We're still on anger. This had left both ships in a position to be demastered, and things were looking shaky. We were locked in a broad-to-broad -broad battle. Curse balls were flying everywhere. I'm gonna. I'm gonna limp all them here. Ah, one ball, damn. Okay, zero. Can you? Yes. Uh, bucket, bucket, chuck the bucket. Oh no! They sent. They sent. They had this much. They took a mile long to come over. Oh, see, see where I'm gonna, I'm gonna this. But by blunderbombing their ship along with using a helm ball, I, I think I'm not. You push them out. You push them out. You push them out. Yeah, I'm gonna helm ball them here. The helm ball here, I think. We were able to grab a moment of respite, and while we were granted this moment, Davy Jones had entered the battle once again. Davy Jones, yes. No, that's. I think they were over No, it knocked them. It knocked them. Okay, I'm pulling front again. This was everything we needed to get our ship moving and begin the final death spiral around their ship. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. I can't see right now. We're okay right now. That's the master again, by the way. So David, don't look at me. Sorry. Act one. Was that another bag? Yeah, all of it. However, as powerful as Davy Jones is, there is a glaring weakness to this strategy. Now, fortunately for us, most PvP crews don't know anything about Tooltales and how they work, especially the last Tooltale in a series. But Davy Jones's ship can actually be taken care of rather quickly, and the next crew we fought did just that. We had matched with a crew that was at first very eager to fight us, and even knew who I was, which is always exciting. No, oh, no, they know. They know us. They know. No, fight us and team. Davy Jones. <laughs> Nah. Nah, but having suffered one barrage from Davy Jones and then seeing us do this, yeah, but it's so funny. It's so fucking funny. <laughs> they can't touch us. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> they had seemingly had enough and decided to dock their ship on the edge of the map by Black Sands. Now, I had attempted to go over to them and every time I tried, I was met Stop. with... Yeah, until finally one of them came to us to try and negotiate. H hello? Um, Ooh. We're not... We're not the biggest fans... You can come up. Uh, ...wasting your time, but yeah, it's, it's a good strat. It's just not, like, what should I say? The most honorable. I don't yeah. care about honor. <laughs> what do you want I about? Killed him. We're pirates. He said that, he said that yeah, and I just so shot like, him. It's, it's We're pirates. <laughs> well, I wanted to further talk to them because talking about honor in a game about pirates, it's a rather silly subject to me. We're pirates. What honor do we need to honor in an hourglass battle? If you're not gonna focus on being honorable, then there's not really, what should I say, that big of a reason for us to be. Like, There's not a big reason for us to come over either. Yeah, no, we, we can't win. <laughs> what do you mean you can't win? You you tried once and then gave up. No, but like you're you're literally with the United Forces of the Morning Star. Uh, what's yeah, we, we the have the, we we have a fleet. I know. You realize I, that you I could just, just sink Davy Jones, right? And then it would go away. Well, they said you had to go under the tower to sink him. No, no, we're on the final part. So the only thing you have to do is sink Davy Jones. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, that wasn't cool of us. Well, uh, sorry. <laughs> this person's actually, I love this kid by the way. He's cool. He's nice. Yeah, he's yeah. cool. Okay, so I may have gave them the information to deal with our strategy. And honestly, by making this video, I'm worried that I won't get to enjoy my Davy Jones meta nearly as much anymore. However, this kid showed gusto. You imagine the kid is more adult than the others. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that one kid on that crew is actually boost. He realized it wasn't an unwinnable fight, and what came next could only be described as one of the greatest moments I'd ever experienced in Sea of Thieves.
Now, we had been following the Black Pearl still, and after exchanging a broadside with the enemy crew, we decided it was time to hug Davy Jones again. But I guess they had actually taken my advice, because they, they did it. it. They blew it up! And not only had they destroyed the Flying Dutchman, they hit us with an incredibly powerful broadside. However, something new would enter the scene. We just had to live through this. Sparta! Sparta! Are we front race, by the way? Or I can race. Uh, I don't know, just blast him, I think. Okay, fine. They're crashing to the fucking island. My I'm flying way too high. Are I hit the back once. Okay, pull like cells. Mm -hmm. We do have some damage though. We lost back. Okay. Drop front. Drop front. Yeah. I have to find the weird. I've jiggled them. Uh, there's a meme in the water. But as the Black Pearl spawned, so too did a border. And wow. You killed me? I, I, I need a bucket. There we go. Right, oh, he's still alive. What did you say? Dimension front. Oh, no, how is it looking? Bucket, 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 bucket. I'm Ooh. dead, I'm dead. Come on. No, I got him, I got him. Hold. Oh, oh, shit, I got him. We were saved. Fawina literally hard carried us out of what could have been an end to one of the most amazing fights I had experienced. And for that reason, please go and check out her channel. She's an absolutely wonderful content creator and deserves all the love in the world. But anyway, having been saved by Fawina, we were able to take advantage of the final part of this tool tale, the real Black Pearl. This ship is an indestructible and immovable wall. And what's more, it has a whole bunch of usable cannons on it too. And if that wasn't enough, the seas around this ship are as still as it can get in this game. By capturing the Black Pearl and sailing around it, we'd be able to control the pace of the fight once again. And well, I guess the enemy crew realized that too, because... I gotta go get food. He's trying to fight me. Okay. Oh, is he fighting you on the pole? Yeah, he's fighting me on the pole. <laughs> He's shooting the pill? Yes, I thought I talked to the- Ooh! Wait, that's actually amazing that the Dutchman was destroyed. We can test the threat now. I believe it is now this is insane. <laughs> oh my god, this is the coolest shit in the world. I killed him! <laughs> Nice. <laughs> so, here's the thing about the real Black Pearl. It may be an unmovable tank full of cannons, but if a player is no longer on the ship, it will sail away into a golden light and end the tool tale. If we were going to keep control of this battle, we would need to keep control of the Pearl. This is the fucking shit right now. I don't care if we win or lose. Oh, he's in the water. He's in the water. I'm afraid to get all I, have some I hit him. Oh, can, I, can I ball him from down here? The water's calm around the pill as well. Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, wait, are you gonna go over as well, maybe? Yeah, I'll go over. There's someone on the ship, by the way, a ghost. Oh, I f***ed that up so badly. There's one up there. It's Getting okay, assistance. they won't expect to. Can you jump off? He did, yeah. I'm jumping off of him when we go in. Oh, I got no. No, I fed up. I fed up. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's. The angle on the cannons on the pill is really bad. Are there front cannons? 
He's dead. For we knew and I had boarded the Pearl, but I was low on supplies. And unfortunately, the Black Pearl doesn't have a single supply barrel on it. And so, while Fawina held down the fort, I returned to our ship with Sea Roar and helped pressure the enemy crew. All we needed to do was wait for Fawina to demask the enemy ship from the Pearl's cannons, and we'd be able to finish them off. If you can, if you can get the demask one, it would be fucking oh. huge. Is your front mast out? And is it back mast out? You're a gamer! And they say we'll f as well. Oh my god. But things wouldn't be that simple. Oh my god, that was so close to their getting their master. And it was my turn to trade places with Fuina. But as I returned to the Pearl, it seemed like the enemy crew was having the time of their life now. Can I come up for an honorable TDM? Or no, we're fighting. This is this is all war. Come on, let's have like one They are in gun range. Try and get up here then. Oh, all right, fair enough. They didn't give me supplies though, Doc. <laughs> That's not my fault. <laughs> but we've got supplies now, I though. Beautifully stocked grade five Reaper sloop. All right, it was beautiful. Get What's up. the thing? <laughs> I'm, I'm ego. Ego, nice. yeah. I'd managed to demast the back sail of the enemy brigantine, but Ciro was in trouble. I killed him, I killed him. We are anchored though. Yeah, Ciro's got this. Uh, let's go back and help him. And so, once again, we were unable to fully capitalize on our advantage. And worse still, Fawina had been sent to the ferry. Oh, damn. So was I. They've got the pill. Meaning that the enemy crew now had control of the Black Pearl. But with the Pearl leaving the fight, it would be enough for us to deal the final finishing blow. Then let's rumble their ship now. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. They've got the pill now. I'm trying to make sure I bag him. Yeah, yeah, that's a threat. It is Do a we have some oh, yeah. now? This is the best fight I've ever fucking had. That's it. <laughs> okay, back to normal then, fuck. Build for now. Yeah, to eat. I'm dead, I'm dead. On ladder. You're on ladder? Got yeah. you. Oh, Willa can get me. Okay. I can keep uh, pressure. Uh, oh, the oh. way out. Dead, I don't know. dead demastered. I'm peace board. Hey. I gotta keep building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We win this now. We are helm bolt, by the way. Oh, f no, we're fine, we're fine. Just as soon as you can, Zero. As soon as you can, yeah, yeah, turn. Not working on. It's all good, we got this. Drop front, drop front. Yep. Half full. And I'll keep blasting, keep blasting. High wave. Need a bucket. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh my god, stop knocking me away. <sighs> Back on the wheel. Okay, I'm probably still gonna need another bucket in a sec. Actually, yeah, yeah, bucket now. Working on it. Can I borrow some of your cannonballs? Left, left. <laughs> Are they out? I seem to be out. I hit it. You're gaming. Let's get on zero. I'm turning. And uh, the Dutchman, you know? They've only one patch there, here. That might be it. You say, is it? Is I it? got it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me in, let me in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. No, you got this. You got this, I believe. There's just this. I killed the other one that was on pin. You're such a fan, nice. And... They've sunk. Holy <laughs> that was the fucking best fight ever. <laughs> let's go. GG's. Oh, let's that go. That was the best fight I've ever had in Sea of Thieves ever. That was amazing. Now, we not only have the power of Davy Jones on our side, but the most legendary pirate ship, the Black Pearl, was ours too. And in my next video, we're going to push the Black Pearl to its absolute limits. Until then, drop by on my Twitch stream, and I'll see you in the next one.